being here. But yeah, let's just get into our bodies. Um, so getting comfortable in whatever way feels best to you. Maybe tucking a blanket underneath your sits bones to tilt the pelvis forward a little bit. Maybe placing hands on your belly. We're gonna let the shoulders settle towards the ground and either closing the eyes if that feels comfortable or averting the gaze. And breathing in, we feel the air come in through the nose, sinking down deep into the lower lungs. And breathing out. So breathing in, we expand the belly. And breathing out, the belly button sinks towards the spine. Breathing in, belly expands. And breathing out, belly button sinks towards the spine. Breathing in and out with the rhythm of your own body. And taking a few moments in quiet to settle into your body, to settle into your rhythmic breath. And just gently noticing where you are holding tension and tightness in the body, where you feel pain or discomfort. Breathing in, breathing out. And let's invite those tight, tense muscles to settle and relax just a little bit. Feeling the shoulders dropping towards the earth with gravity feeling the jaws opening and releasing. Noticing the sits bones against the blanket, legs against the floor, breathing in and out. Taking three more deep breaths here. And then gently bring your chin to the chest. And inhaling, we're gonna bring the chin up over the right shoulder. Exhaling, chin comes back to the chest. Inhaling, chin comes up over the left shoulder. And taking this movement with your own breath. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Feeling the gentle stretch in your neck. Then taking the full circle, if that feels good to your neck. You might hear some crackling and popping. It's a sign that you're just working out some tension. If it feels painful though, stop and change the movement. We don't wanna cause pain. pausing and going in the other direction. And coming back to stillness. Let's inhale, bringing our shoulders up towards the ears and then back and down. Inhaling, shoulders come up, exhaling back and down. Taking these shoulder rolls, really working out some of the tightness and tension from those shoulder muscles. Breathing, remembering to breathe. One more time. And then let's pause and go in the other direction. Noticing what this feels like in your body. And one more time. And let's just shake that out. All right, inhaling, let's reach the arms up, lifting and lengthening the spine. 
exhaling, we're going to fold to the right. So arching the left side of the body, stretching through the ribs. Inhaling, coming back up, lengthening and exhaling, folding to the left. Breathing, inhaling back up. And then taking this at your own pace with the rhythm of your own breath. One more time on each side. And then bringing the hands to heart center, pausing here for a moment and taking three deep breaths. So let's bring our legs out long in front of us. You might want to grab a pillow, or if you have a bolster, you could use a bolster. But we're just gonna put a pillow down long on the legs. And then we're going to inhale, reaching the arms up, lengthening the spine. And now let's fold forward over the pillow. If you want to double your pillow up, you could or put a blanket on top of it. So we want our forehead to rest on the pillow. Feeling the stretch in the backs of the legs. And so make your pillow as high as it needs to be so you can comfortably rest your forehead onto it. We're gonna stay here for a few moments. So settle in, maybe wiggling a little bit so your sits bones can settle into the floor. Exhaling into this forward fold. Breathing in, feel your belly expanding and breathing out. See if you can let your body sink a little heavier into this posture. Sinking with gravity towards the earth. Breathing in and breathing out. Noticing the sensations that are present in the backs of your legs. Noticing the physical sensations and any emotional sensations that come up being gentle and compassionate with yourself as you navigate any feelings of discomfort or fear. Our body holds a lot of memory and the backs of the legs in particular can hold so much from our emotional history. And so we be kind and gentle to ourselves as we stretch out the backs of the legs and grapple with any memories or unsettling feelings that might arise, knowing that it is safe for us to be here. This Bilati belongs to you. And if you need to come out of the pose, that's absolutely okay. Doing what you need today, honoring where you are at today. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. A few more moments here. Whenever you're ready, slowly come.
coming back up to a seated position and then moving that pillow or blanket or bolster. And so now let's bend the right leg and we're gonna bring the right foot on the opposite side of the left knee. We're gonna hug that leg in towards the chest, hooking our left arm around the right knee, bringing the right arm out in front of us. And we're gonna bring that back behind us, placing the right hand behind the body and the gaze is out over that right shoulder. A twist. Breathing. And release, let's release the head, neck, and shoulders coming back forward and shaking the legs out. Now we're gonna do the opposite side. So placing the left foot on the outside of the right knee, hooking the right arm around the left leg, bringing the left arm out long in front of us, and then bringing it back behind the body, dropping the left hand onto the mat, and the gaze is out over the left shoulder, breathing in and breathing out. And releasing the head, neck, and shoulders coming back forward and shaking the legs out one more time. So now let's come down onto the mat on our backs. And so what we're gonna do is place the right foot on the left knee. And then maybe taking your right hand and opening up that hip just a little bit with some gentle pressure. And then let's bring that knee-ankle combination in towards the chest and let the left leg hang loose, the left leg relaxed. Noticing the stretch that comes down the right glute. And breathing. One more breath here. Let's place that left foot back on the mat and hook the right knee over the left knee. And we're going to do some little ankle rolls. So it's like you're drawing little invisible circles in the air with your right toe. Pausing and going in the other direction. And then let's take hold of the back of the right leg, bringing that right foot up into the air, stretching the leg. Breathing. And if you'd like to come into half happy baby, you bend that right knee towards the right armpit and take hold of the bottom of the right foot. Half happy baby. Maybe taking some movement here. And 
and releasing that right foot back to the mat. We're gonna place the left ankle on the right knee now, opening up that left hip a little bit with some gentle pressure from the left hand. And then bringing that knee and ankle combination in towards the chest, letting the right leg hang long and loose. Breathing. This is called figure four. Being gentle with yourself if discomfort comes up, changing the posture as you need to, so that it makes sense for your body today. A few more breaths here. And then bringing that right foot back to the floor. We're gonna bring the left leg up into the air, taking hold behind the left leg, stretching. Breathing. Then if you'd like to come into half happy baby on this side, bending the left knee and taking hold of the left foot. Taking some movement here, if that feels good to you. Breathing. And then releasing that leg. And let's bring both knees back up towards the chest, hugging them in and rocking from side to side. Now we're gonna bring our arms out long beside us into a T. We're gonna bring the knees to the floor on the right side of the body. Coming into a twist, the gaze is to the left, so the nose is the opposite direction of the knees. You may want to place a pillow underneath the legs or between the legs. Whatever feels best to your body today. Breathing. Notice where you're holding tension and tightness and see if you can allow those muscles to relax, giving way to gravity, settling your body heavy into the mat. Three more deep breaths here. Good. 
Releasing this and hugging the knees in towards the chest. And then we're gonna allow the knees to fall to the left side of the body. Twisting the nose is in the opposite direction of the knees. Again, noticing where you're holding tension and tightness. And invite those muscles to soften and relax. Adjusting as you need to. Three more deep breaths here. And then making our way back to center and then to a seated position. So coming back to seated and then grabbing a blanket or a towel, or if you have a bolster, you could use that. Just creating kind of a makeshift home bolster of sorts like this. So we wanna roll it up, fold it up and roll it up. And so we're gonna practice legs up the wall. And so we're gonna bring our butt to close to the wall. And this makeshift bolster is to go beneath the spine. You may or may not want that. Um, if that doesn't feel good to you or helpful to you, you could toss it aside or unroll it a bit and put it under your neck for some neck comfort. So we're gonna bring our legs up into the air and up the wall and then bring this little blanket underneath the spine. And so our arms are wide and our legs are up the wall. The closer you are to the wall, the more intense the stretch will be. And so back up for back out from the wall, if you would want if you want it to be a little more restorative, or get closer to the wall if you want uh, to be a little more engaged of a stretch. And then that blanket under the spine helps open up the chest. And so we want our shoulders to really start to fall towards the floor with gravity. So settling in, getting comfortable and shifting this in whatever way you need to, making it work for your body today. Breathing in, feel your belly expanding as your lungs fill with air. And breathing out, feel your belly button sinking towards the floor. Breathing in, belly expands. Breathing out, belly button sinks towards the floor. Breathing at your own rhythm, your own pace. Filling up your body with fresh air. Having our legs up the wall in this way reverses the blood flow and reoxygenates the blood 
sending vital energy all throughout the body. Listening to the sound of your breath. And if your mind starts to wander away in a direction that does not feel kind towards yourself or helpful, bring the mind back to the breath, anchoring your attention to your body and your breath, breathing in and breathing out. Noticing your body softening into the floor. Feel your jaws release and relax. Feel your breath flowing in and out. Sending some compassion to the muscles of your legs. Inviting your legs to release any pent up tension and tightness. Reminding yourself, your body, that it's okay to let go a little bit in this moment. Five more breaths here. Whenever you're ready, releasing. Maybe bringing your knees in towards the chest for a moment. And then coming back up to seated. You're great, you're doing great. So now we're gonna come into your restorative child's pose. So in studio, we use a couple of blocks and a couple of bolsters, but since we're all practicing from home right now, we are gonna just create some yoga props. So you may wanna have a blanket, a pillow or two. I'm gonna grab another pillow from my bed. And so stacking up your pillows and then maybe taking a blanket or two. And so we can place part of the blanket onto the mat and we're gonna place our ankles onto that blanket. And then we're gonna tuck the other part of the blanket over the ankles, giving ourselves a little seat. And so the knees are spread wide and we straddle this pillow. And so what we're gonna do is inhale reaching the arms up, lengthening the spine, and then exhaling, we're gonna fold onto the pillows into child's pose. So the arms can be down by the sides or you could hug the top pillow, bringing your head onto the pillow, resting your face. So taking a moment to get comfortable and settled, grab more blankets or more pillows if you need to, and then settling into this restorative posture. Breathing in, feel your body expanding as you bring air deep down into your lower lungs. And breathing out, feel your body settling into the pillows.
feeling yourself settle and sink in. Maybe closing your eyes if that feels comfortable to you. We're going to stay here for a little while. So getting cozy and settled. And so you can follow the sound of my voice if you like. Maybe your awareness will come in and out and that's okay. You don't have to hear every word. It's just to guide you into this time of rest. Feeling the air come in through your nose, sinking down deep to your belly. Breathing out, feeling your face becoming heavy against the pillow, feeling your arms resting against the floor, feeling your pelvic sacral area settling with gravity towards the ground, breathing in and breathing out. Letting your mind settle into your body. Our minds can be quite tricky at times. So many of us have long held patterns of self-criticism and self-punishment, all in the hopes of being the best version of ourselves. But what we know is that that self-punishment and self-criticism, it just depletes us, it exhausts us. And so instead we shift the way we talk to ourselves, teaching our minds how to speak to us with respect, compassion, kindness. Not brushing over or ignoring our shadows not ignoring or brushing over those things that need to grow inside of us, but confronting those parts of ourselves with love, with kindness, knowing that that, that is how we as people heal and grow and live into the very best versions of ourselves. We heal through love and belonging, breathing in, breathing out, settling a little deeper into this posture. Feeling your breath feeling the weight of your body against the floor and notice the floor holding your body in safety and comfort, breathing in and breathing out. And if the mind starts to wander away into a direction that's not kind or loving or helpful, we very gently bring it back we invite the mind to come back to that place of compassion and respect. Allowing your jaws to release. Feeling your tongue softening in your mouth. Shoulders slipping towards the earth. body resting against the pillows, breathing in, breathing out. Very gently and slowly turning the head so that your face faces the opposite direction. 
And then settling in again. Settling into the quiet and the stillness and allowing your breath to be your music, to be your guide in the silence. more deep breaths here. And whenever you're ready, coming back up to seated. into a seated position and let's bring our arms out wide and then we're going to tuck the chin into the chest and bring our arms in as though we're hugging a big invisible ball inhaling opening gaze is lifted exhaling chin to the chest hugging the air inhaling out exhaling in moving at your own pace, the rhythm of your own body and breath. Three more times. And then let's bring our arms up, lengthening the spine, hands touch. Hands come to the third eye, to the mouth, and to heart center. Honoring and acknowledging all that we practiced today, offering gratitude to the people all over the world who have preserved the ancient wisdom of yoga so that it could land on our mats today so that it could guide our minds and bodies as we journey through our own experiences of life. Thank you so much for practicing with me today.